Are you ready for this? Hello everybody, Chris here, and yes, we're finally back from an extended summer vacation. And the remodel is finally complete. You can see a lot of things have changed around me, but before we talk about all the changes that we made, let's go back to June 2019. This is the basement back then. You can see just how much stuff was crammed into this space. I still had all the stuff left over from my makeshift recording studio, as well as all my 3D printing gear. You can see how the old studio area was set up. We have another room over here in the back corner. That all got removed and taken down. And you see all the piles of parts and printers and things that I had just setting everywhere. And here's a look inside that room with my drum set and amplifiers. Things have changed a lot. So we decided to start tackling a full remodel of the basement early 2021. And the first thing we had to do was start to reconfigure some of the rooms and open the space up. This is one of the first pictures after we started the tear out. This is after I removed the front wall of the drum room and I had to actually cut the floor out because the floor was installed after the room went up. And here's a look after the room went down. We actually had to move things a piece at a time because there wasn't enough room for us to continue making videos and do the remodel all at once. So I'd take things from one side of the room, put it on the other, work in that space, and then move it back. It was a complete shell game. This one is after we made a little bit of progress. I'm doing subflooring as well while trying to install some electrical and some lights. There was just a lot of moving things back and forth. It was a real uphill battle. And after that side over there was complete, we finished up all the videos for last season, and then we started to tackle this area. And that took a little longer than I thought. Pretty much, we just slid the table out of the way, and I started on the floor. That's the studio area that you see me in right now, completely cleaned out. We decided to go with some faux wood flooring for the back wall. It's around the same color as the old wall. It used to be brown paperboard, but this is a lot cleaner look. And for the wall to the right, we decided to go with some sheetrock. I didn't necessarily want white, but something that was a little cleaner than the old shelving we used to have in here. And after some finish work and some painting, we're finally back to where we are now. We even got us a little bit lighter tabletop and a new camera set up so we can see more of it. Hopefully this is going to be very helpful going forward. But let's look at a couple of things that we changed and just how we changed them. So we'll just start on this side and go around. One of the biggest things we wanted to do with this remodel was make things a lot less cluttered. You can see in all the old videos just how busy things were, and I had no idea where anything was. So the large shelf that we used to have got condensed down to this one. We added some lights and a few of my favorite things that will be in pretty much every video. I'm sure it will change as it goes along. This is actually the same table that you used to see in every shot, Orange Juicer always had a home over there, but now Log will have a more permanent home on the other side. Things look a little bit plain over here. I still haven't decided exactly what we're going to do, but again, I want to go with a lot cleaner look. We'll see how it progresses. The old table, pretty much all I did was add some trim and these paperboard doors. All the same filament storage, but now we can slide it open. get any filament or anything we might need, and close it right back up. That's about the cleanest, most cost-effective install that I could come up with, given the prices of supplies nowadays. And one of the things that I am the most excited about is now I have my toolbox right to the right of me instead of all the shelves. This will make me collect less stuff, I have less places to put things, and I don't have to walk all the way across the room to get the tools I need. I still find myself having the thought to go search for a tool when it's just a foot away. This is gonna make life a lot easier, especially for those live streams. And this wall has changed up a lot. You can see all of my broken symbols now. There's even a new Chris's Basement clock that Tom made me. And of course, I have to have my 3D printed map of Iceland. 
that my buddy Martin gave me over at 3DP Iceland. You know, this guy. And the great job that Tom Lama did on the clock, especially with the orange hands, definitely deserves a little bit more screen time. Thanks a lot, Tom. And this side really hasn't changed that much. Pretty much the same lighting setup. Again, everything got pushed a little bit to the right of the room because we did get rid of all that shelving. And we do have a new lighter top. So hopefully that'll look a little better in the videos. Over here on the right, we had to commemorate the Your Fired sign. It was in every video that we ever made. So we have to keep that around. And we have to keep working on the same old sticker wall. We're not near filled up yet. And underneath the table, no big surprises. I still got my 3D printed buckets that have odds and ends in them. A little bit of extra storage, but the main thing is all the new subfloor. This is going to make it a lot warmer down here when we record all the videos this winter. Looking forward to that. So things have definitely been cleaned up and simplified around here. And it's kind of scary, but we're more organized now than we have ever been. Hopefully I can still find the things that I need. And I don't know about you, but when I do projects like this, something of this size that takes many months to complete, it's the little things that make all the difference. Like light switches. For years, all the lights to the studio was just a blue box hanging from a wire that came out of the ceiling. That was from a previous remodel. Down here we ran all new electrical to multiple breakers and over 30 outlets to make sure we had enough power and lights. While I was doing that, I divided up all three switches. Plus, I left three screws out of here because I knew I wanted to show this to you, and that's for my OCD friends. But now we have table, studio, and video. Table just gives me enough light over there that I can work on things without having to record videos. That requires a lot more light. You can see we have some light over there. It's definitely enough to work in, but it doesn't have to be so bright saves a little bit of money on electricity, I don't have to worry about some of the more expensive bulbs, like for these soft boxes. Then the studio switch, that does all the lights on the studio side, what I still call the studio where it used to be. But that gets the lights turned on if I want to do a screen share over the computer while I'm sitting down, or I need to do something in the print farm area. Just keeps it separate so I don't have to turn it on if I don't need to. And finally, we have the video switch. That turns all the lights on in the table area for when it's time to make the donuts. And I finally got the ceiling cam set back up for our live stream sessions. Now, it's not the squarest thing in the world, but it'll work for an unboxing. And there's so many other little things that we did to make it easier to work down here. And it has improved the workflow greatly. And I look forward to sharing all that with you as we go into season five of content here in Chris's basement. And that's just a little bit hard for me to believe. We've almost made over 500 videos now. But we're back to it. We're gonna start creating more content, more live streams to come. I'm back, take care all, and there's only one thing you need to do in a clean workspace. That's build something and get it dirty all over again. We'll see you soon.